Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from one of my favorite places in the world, the ranch. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness, you can tell it's sunset. It's actually not sunrise, just they tend to look the same. Um, look at that. It's almost like a, can you see that? Looks like a rainbow, a white rainbow. Okay, um, so what is the tool for today? Well, um, I got a question for you. What is it you're really good at that you've never acknowledged? Hmm. Um, the reason I ask that is because I've been working with a lot of people lately who the thing that's been holding them back from being able to create what they want is they actually have skills and they're really good at things, but they never acknowledge it because it's so easy for them that they think it must have no value. Now, I heard this from my friend and business partner, Gary Douglas, 20 years ago when I was sitting in a class he was doing about money and it was about changing your limitations around money. Oh, do you see the, um, can you see it? No, you can't. There's a peacock over there on the ground, a white peacock. We have white peacocks out here. How does it get any better than that? Um, here I was in Gary's class 20 years ago and he said, the thing that you do that will make you the most money is actually the thing you're great at that is actually the thing that's easiest for you to do but because it's easier for you you think it has no value now there was one lady in that class and she's like um and she had asked a question and <clears throat> and gary said what do you like to do and she went well i love to organize things like i'm so good at organizing and gary said so and the question was actually what is it you do so well and so easily that you think it has no value because it's so easy for you it must be easy for everybody else and so she raised her hand and said, organizing. Well, she later created an organizing business. And then she also created an accounting business because she apparently liked to organize people's, or, or a bookkeeping business, sorry, because she apparently liked to organize people's um, finances and that sort of stuff too. Ooh, look, oh, there's a little weird thing. Oh, well, um, do you see that? It's like a halo. Okay, I wonder if you're gonna see these things when the video actually shows up on your screen. Um, maybe I'm just hallucinating. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe there's magic at the ranch. See right there. Like you see that little, is it cloudy there? Maybe I need to clean my um, lens. Anyway, so what is it you do? Okay, so, um, sorry, ADHD is taking over big time. So what is it you do so easily that is so easy for you, you think it has no value, that would actually make you more money than you ever imagined possible? So I just wanted to share that tool with you because it popped when I pressed record and uh, really, I was just gonna show you the beauty of the ranch. Look at this, isn't it amazing out here? Look, there's a little pink house. There's the um, yellow house. There's, there's the car, the cars. Okay, back, okay. Um, so if you could ask yourself that question, it might start to be a clue for you, even if it doesn't show up right away. Like, you know, it may not show up the moment you ask the question, but if you do ask that question, um, it might be a clue for you as to something that is fun for you something that's easy and also something that would um, make you money. And it may not be something you've ever valued because we tend to think, once again, if it's easy for us, it must be easy for everybody. So therefore, who's gonna pay us to do that? So I'm um, just saying, you never know, might start you on a new career path. And if that's the case, please um, let me know. You know, post it somewhere, tag me, Dr. Dane here. Yeah, uh-huh, that's me. Um, which is really funny because, you know, I don't, think of myself as a doctor I think of myself as I don't often think about myself okay forget it anyway uh what is so easy for you that you think it has no value that would be something that could be wonderful for you to do and also make you money everything that doesn't allow you to perceive it to know it to receive it and actually get to be it we destroy and uncreate it please Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and mounts. I'm going to go because my hand is shaking and you're probably tired of listening to me and, you know, seeing all the beauty around and see the propane tank. We tried to move it, but you can't move it because it's like hardwired in or something and the world might blow up and we don't want to be responsible for blowing up the world. So we're not moving the propane tank just in case any of you notice the propane tank like I do every time I'm out here. Okay. What if you truly being you are the gift, the change and the possibility this world requires? Oh, see, there, uh, hold on, there, there he is, the little guy. Um, he was so beautiful, he's actually had his, his, ooh, there's another one, there's a girl. There's a girl, there's a boy. We have all kinds of fun stuff out here at the ranch. Uh, maybe next time I'll show you some more of the horses. And um, yeah, so the boy, the little peacock, 
I guess the other one is a pea hen. I don't know who names these things, by the way. Um, but the peacock was like open. It was beautiful. I got a picture of it from behind I'll, or a video. So we'll add that here too. I'm just babbling now. I just don't want to go. You know, I don't want to leave the ranch. I don't want to leave you guys. It's so much fun, man. So anyway, what if you truly being you are the gift, the change and the possibility this world requires. Thank you for being in this world, my beautiful friends. And I can't wait to meet you in person someday. Bye-bye.